So I just wanted to let y'all know how my game went. Um, we didn't end up winning, uh, but it was a it was a close game. Um, I'll definitely say this was our best game so far, even though we lost. Um, we was up in the first quarter. We was up by like 10, if I want to say like 27-17. Second quarter, they made a run. It was close. I think we was up by three at half. And then third quarter, it was a back and forth, back and forth. And then the fourth quarter, um, they got us on that one. Fourth quarter is where they got us. Um, we played against a kill car and his squad, the Rebels. And I'm not going to hold you a kill car. It's tough. I think he had like 14 that game. Wasn't really shooting well, but he got to the basket. And, yo, his body control is crazy. Like, I'm talking about he'll go up in the air and then he'll change his shot up mid-air. And then it's like, yo, it's a bucket. I swear. Like, <laughs> a kill car, a.k.a. the Crime Stopper, man. So, uh, that was a good matchup. Um, for me, I had 20 points, 10 assists. So, I had my second double-double of the season. You know, we got rid of some players. Um, and we got in some new players. So, I think this new group that we have can do a lot more work. I feel like this new group that we have can do a lot. Um, I think it's better than the team that we had before um, just because we got more size. Um, I think we have more defensive presence and and guard play too. So I think this is an overall better team. And don't get me wrong, the, the players that we had before, um, they can hoop, they can go. Um, but it was just like I feel like from a business standpoint, from a business standpoint, I see why the ownership did what they did. They had to get rid of them. Some of them wasn't producing. When it comes to that pro level, bro, and you not producing, yo, it's, it's a cutthroat, bro. They will get rid of you just like that. So if, if I could give any advice, you know, to the people that want to play professionally, you know, just be ready for that. You know, if you are not hooping, if you are not producing, bro, you're gone, right? No matter how cool you are with the owners, no matter how cool you are with the community, it doesn't matter, bro. Like, if you are not hooping, if you're not putting up numbers, you're gone. That's just how it goes. So I'm just giving y'all a heads up, you know, so when you get to that that level, when y'all get to that level, just know that's how it is. So don't think that you won't get cut, bro. You will. So just make sure you're doing your part. Some people on the team wasn't doing their part, so they had to go, right? Just make sure that you're not that person that has to go, right? Make sure you're the one that stays. So yeah, so this new squad we got, I think it's a lot better than the old squad. We got a game coming up on Friday. We played Crusaders. That was our first game we played. Uh, we got to run that back for sure. Like, we got to run that back. So, yeah, with that being said, that's just how it went. You know, again, had 20 points, 10 assists. Um, right now, it's just staying hot. You know, we only going up, you know, but I'm not satisfied. I'm not comfortable. You know, even though I had that performance, I could always do more. It's never enough, you know. So I just got to make sure this next game, bring that same energy, bring that same intensity, bring that same level, right, that level of play every single time, right? No excuses. So I'm just going to do what I got to do, bro, and, you know, control what I can control, play my part, and I know my teammates are going to do their part. And then once we do all that, wins will come. You know, so that's that's really it. We are in April right now, bro. This is this is this is something that you gotta realize, bro. Time is moving. Time waits for nobody. So do not waste a day, right? Just do something that you feel like is gonna benefit you in the long run, right? Make sure you're doing the right things, make sure you're being productive, right? Make sure you're executing on the plays. Keep showing up, bro. If you're tired, keep showing up. Staying disciplined and consistent will get you far, right? Remember can't worry about what everybody else is doing focus on you focus on yourself and focus on bettering yourself right i promise you if you keep working hard you keep grinding and you like i said you keep showing up i promise by the end of the year you're gonna look back and you'll be like damn i really did that and i didn't give up i didn't quit you feel me and i never stopped i kept going i promise you bro by the end of 2024 bro going into 2025 you are going to have so much momentum, so much motion, right? It's just staying focused, staying locked in, bro. Stay hungry. You feel me? Keep attacking each and every day, bro, no matter how you feel. If you feel great, all right, 
that's that's perfect. You know, you're going to get to it. If you're feeling down and you're feeling like you don't want to do it, hey, you got to do it. You got to get to it. If you don't want to do it, you still have to do it. All right? Make sure you're doing your part, bro. Shout out to God and all glory to God for allowing me to keep going on this journey. You know what I'm saying? To be alive and to be great, to be healthy, you know? So I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing without God. You feel me? Everything that's happened is because of God, right? So I'm I'm very grateful to be able to keep hooping. There's people right now looking for a team. There's people that are looking somewhere to play. You know, I'm playing, right? So I got to thank God for that. You know, there was times where I swear I thought it was slow. When I had my knees, I had running knees, bro, it was looking so slow. But God made a way. God made me stronger and I came back even better. You know, so again, always put God first, bro. Pray, give thanks, you know, and I promise you, God's going to always come through. God's work, God's work, God's work and hard work. I promise you, that is the motto. So just keep doing your part. God sees everything. I promise you, God sees the work you're putting in. Now, if you lazy, there's there's no reason why you deserve what you deserve, bro. If you lazy, you're not going to get it. But if you're working hard, you grinding every day, you know what I'm saying? You're doing everything that you need to do. You're putting in them hours, right? It's going to pay off. Keep working, bro. Keep talking to God. Keep praising God. And I promise you, everything's going to work out for you. We only going up. Remember that. For all of us, for all my subscribers, for all the ones that's watching, we only going up. I promise you that. Keep that mindset. We only going up. Adams here bringing you all the action as that layup rolls off the back of the rim. Tyler Rowe finds Peacock and Peacock with now moving to Peacock. Inside Rodney Simon a good look and he drains the final two minutes of our first quarter here. Another pull up shot this one from Tyler Rowe. You can definitely hear more of the action, more echoey building that we're in here compared to Providence Career and Technical Academy. Another missed shot there from the Rebels. Tyler Rowe assessing his options, now going to drive in towards the paint. Deal it to Briggs who gets the now Tyler Rowe dribbles to his left. In for the clear layup and gets it with the of things here with Tyler Rowe. Big body screen set by Corey Matthews. And now a deep look for not the best of starts for him as Tyler Rowe knocks down the court. Passed over, a deep shot, make. Two point game, 38 to 36. As that shot by Rowe falls for, fakes it. Kicks to the three point line for Rowe. And inside Simon, long two pointer is all it is. And it's back down to three point lead. Driving in, Tyler Rowe gets it to go. it over to Akil Carr. Again, if you're just joining us, Akil Carr leads the Rebels in points scored with 24.3 points per game. Hasn't been too busy in the scoring column here tonight. Peacock making it look easy. 52 to 47. Tyler Rowe pulls up right behind the free throw line and knocks it down. Taylor and Rowe have both been busy running the backcourt for the Kraken as Rowe pulls. Continue to take up a plenty of shot clock and now it's taken away by Rowe. Rowe goes up for the shot. Foul is called. Two chances to cut down the deficit from the charity stripe. First one falls in. Be the Prince. What the Tef Energy Bar, Southside Smoothie, and WBRU 360. Under a minute to go. Seven point deficit as a 